Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here and welcome to the first of my Doctor Who Decade Rankings where I uh, count down my top 10 Doctor Who stories per decade. So top 10 1960s episode uh, stories, top 10 1970s stories, top 10 1980s stories, top 10 mid to, mid to late 2000s stories and top 10 2010 stories which will be done next year um, or whenever we get to revel resolution if, it, if that's beyond next year. Um, for the 1990s and the early to mid 2000s, I'll be doing a worst to best bonus stories rankings. So bonus stories such as Dimensions in Time, the TV movie, Scream to Schalke, all that. Uh, the wilderness is anything released between Sh Survival and Rose will be done within that era, with the exception of whatever to Susan, because I've already done that. Um, so those will have worst to bests rather than top tens. So. Yeah, so today we have our top 10 1960 stories. I also mentioned that some stories are spread over two decades. Uh, with the Horns of Nyman in the 70s and 80s and the End of Time in 2000s and 2010s. They will both, both stories will be eligible for being on both of the two respective decade lists that they appear in. That the two the stories cover, so 70s and 80s and 2000s and 2010s. For example, whether they actually are on the list themselves is yet to be seen. Probably not. But uh, they're still candidates because they will count. So, today we have our top 10 1960 stories. We're also going to include an honourable mention per Doctor for each decade. So, each decade that features a Doctor, for example, this decade features the first and second Doctors, there will be a honourable mention story for... the uh, per Doctor, so we'll get one for the first and one for the second. 70s will be done for the third and one for the fourth. 80s, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. 2000s, it'll be ninth and tenth. And 2010s, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. And I'll and spoiler alert, the end of time will be the tenth Doctor honourable mention for the 2010s, as that's his only story in the 2010s, as the, inc as the incumbent incarnation. So, yeah. But that doesn't mean uh, Horns of Nine is going to be an honourable mention. We've lost the fourth Doctor had an entire other season after that, and Sharda. So before we start, here are the first and second Doctor honourable mentions for the 1960s list. The first Doctor's honourable mention is Planet of Giants from Season 2. I find this a really fun and enjoyable start to Season 2. That is why I've uh, I put it so high, highly in pretty much in my previous rank in my season two ranking and my first doctor ranking they, it's just a fun story i really enjoyed it as for my second doctor uh honorable mention this is another story i really liked and had for uh, after watching the reconstructions was my favorite season four story but was replaced uh on the rewatches and this is the faceless ones from season four right so with those honourable mentions out of the way, here are here's the list. Number ten, the Celestial Toy Maker from season three. I find this a imaginative and fun story, like the Mind Robber. Maybe not so much as the Mind Robber, but still it's got some great great fun and games, and pretty good, uh, really fun and entertaining. Number nine is The Keys of Marinus from season one. Another first Doctor story, and this is just a uh, really enjoyable, really entertaining story. It's my favourite from the season, and it's just the whole, it's a whole great thing. This is the earliest, best story on this list. The earliest story on the, on the list, as it's the fifth one, and it does such a great... Uh, some great stuff and it's just really enjoyable. Number eight is The War Machines from season three. A fantastic way to end such a great season. 
uh, well, a great, you know, there were some not so great bits, but uh, you know what, not everything's perfect. Still a great end. Number seven is now my current season four fin uh, favourite story, and it's the finale, The Evil of the Daleks. Number six, this is another Dalek story, this time from season two, The Chase. I preferred the two Dalek stories, otherwise uh, Dalek Invasion of Earth would have been an honourable mention. Um, sorry, it, it, that just missed out because I preferred Planet of Giants. But yeah, The Chase, I find, is a fun, enjoyable and really epic Dalek story. And yeah, of course, there, there is a better Dalek story yet to come, but I found that was a really great one. Both of them are quite different from each other, so you know, all the Dalek stories are quite different from each other, which is... Uh, at least this point, so it's really enjoyable to see each one being quite different. Number five, and the same can be said for the Cybermen, as in this season six story proves, this is the invasion. Sadly, it's the only Cyberman story from season six. Um, I think if there was another, sto if the war games hadn't happened, we, we would have had another four. We would have had a four parter and a six parter. Could the Cybermen have returned in one of those two? Probably not, but I would have liked it to happen. But at least we got the really enjoyable, really fun and entertaining The War Games instead, so I'm not complaining that much. No, The War Games will not be appearing on this list. Um, but it was on my top 10 Second Doctor's ranking. And did come third in this season's ranking, so... Yeah. Maybe I should put that as an honorable mention. Hmm. No, I prefer to face this ones. Just a little bit. Anyway, so number four. Number four is from season five, and it is Doctor Who doing James Bond. It's the enemy of the world. Yeah, just an amazing, uh, brilliant story. And it's got some great moments and some really epic... Uh, yeah, it's just a really epic story, and it's pretty much perfect, to be honest. But there are three stories I prefer. Number three. Number three is my favourite first Doctor story from season three. It's The Dalek's Master Plan. Possibly? No, definitely the best Dalek story at this point, and maybe the best one until 1988's Remembrance of the Daleks, which is all the way over in season 25. So... It's going to be a long time till we have another Dalek. Uh, to have, we have a Dalek story that's going to rival this one. Admittedly, there are some other good ones to come, but uh, for me, this one is easily the best until Sylvester McCoy comes along. But we're not at him yet. We'll be on John, John Pertwee next. But anyway, so Dalek's Master Plan loved it. Loved it. Uh, despite being 12 episodes long and one of those episodes being pretty poor, but everything else was really good. Mission to the Unknown, by the way, I, made, I counted as a separate episode, but I also uh, sometime, but I also acknowledge it to be kind of like an episode zero of the story, a prologue episode in a way, not prequel, because otherwise that would have come afterwards. Um, but a, a prologue, epi a Dalek cutaway slash prologue episode. And that would, I suppose, would count as episode zero, but as the as an episode of the story one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, then no, because it's technically episode zero. Um, and that would also be the only other bad point about the story if that was counted though as an actual episode. But yeah, that was my least favorite from season three, but it's not the worst of the Hartnell era. Anyway. Moving on to number two. Number two is my favourite season six story, The Mind Robber. Basically, the Celestial Toy Maker, but perfect. And with fictional characters in this land of fiction, as opposed to just fun and games. But you know what? It's still a really imaginative and really entertaining story. And has some great uh, moments and lots of well, quite a lot of great moments and some great acting and great characters. It's so fun. It's really enjoyable. And even that first one where there isn't much happening, it's still really likeable and really enjoyable. It's got quite a lot of good stuff in it. 
And my number one choice is my favourite second Doctor story from season 5. It is The Tomb of the Cybermen. Yep, really enjoyable. Despite some nitpicks, there are some... It is just a beautiful and enjoyable story. Lots of fun. Really enjoy. Uh, really entertaining. And the Cybermen at their best. Even the voices I like. I think they're, well, they're better than some of the other voices we've had in this... Uh, other Cybermen stories, with the possible exception of the Tenth of Planets, they've all been pretty poor. Besides uh, Tenth of Planets and Tomb of the Cybermen. Yep, in fact, these Cybermen voices were so good that they brought it back to be the uh, Cyber Planners voice in the Wheel in Space, despite changing the Cybermen's one. And probably those ones are probably the worst ones. Anyway, so. That's it from my 1960s stories top 10, and if I was to mention dishonourable mentions, um, first Doctor it would be the Romans from season 2. And uh, second Doctor it would of course be the Space Pirates from season 6. Romans I didn't really like, I was... An, big fan of it, but I acknowledged it was better than some other story, uh, some other future stories to come, and yeah, but, but it was, it's always been my least favourite Hartnell story. Troughton had a few more not so good stories, um, two that are worse than the Romans, and a couple that came very close. Uh, one of them almost was exactly the same, but thanks to great animated recon uh, reanimated episodes, it just managed to be a little bit better. But uh, the, out of the two worst than the Romans, this uh, the Space Pirates is, well, it's my least favourite of all time overall. So, yes, that's why it gets the dishonourable mention yet again. So, there you go. Tomb of Simon keeps winning these lists, and the Space Pirates keeps losing these lists, uh, coming as the dishonourable mention. Or a dishonorable mention, anyway. So dishonorable mentions go to the Romans and the Space Pirates for the first and second Doctors, respectively. Okay, so that's it from my list. I'll just reread it. Number ten, the Celestial Toymaker. Number nine, the Keys of Marinus. Number eight, the War Machines. Number seven, the Evil of the Daleks. Number six, the Chase. Number five, the Invasion. Number four, the Enemy of the World. Number three, the Daleks' Master Plan. Number two, the Mind Robber. And number one, the Tomb of the Sidemen. That's it from me. Thank you for watching this top ten 1960s episode. Uh, Doctor Who Stories ranking, and that's it from the 1960s, that's it from the second and first Doctors, we're now moving on to the 1970s, and we'll be kick-starting Season 7 with John Pertwee's first story as the third Doctor, Spearhead from Space. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>